What is happening out there? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a little top, and I just thought I'd stop by and say hello on a little impromptu command inspection. See how everybody's doing. I know this is a big holiday weekend. Whole lot of y'all planning on doing a lot of traveling. Want to say stay safe on the roads and such. Eat a whole lot of turkey. Enjoy a big taste of America. You know what I'm saying? So this is a little bit different. I normally don't get to log in this late, but I thought I'd log in with y'all and just see how everybody's doing. Um, mostly because I'm curious to see what kind of audience we got at this time of day. Normally it's like, you know, 07 in the morning when I'm logging in down there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step over here. See if we can, uh, if I can get some people chiming in. So if you're on here, just put your name in where you are. What up there, LeBlanc? One of my old soldiers there, LeBlanc, my man. I hope you're doing all right. So just write in there where you're from, what you're doing. If, if you're part of the service or in the service, make sure you say who you are, what you did. I like talking about that kind of stuff. While we're waiting on that, I want to go ahead and say I want you all to have a good holiday season. It's been kind of a nutty year. A lot of bad stuff's happened this year, so enjoy your time with your families, and um, above everything else, just appreciate the opportunities that we have here in this great country. Oh. All right, little Brett's out there cooking dinner. John says, I'm late. How am I late? This is a surprise. Got Christopher out there with 25th. What's up? Let's see. And my man Tony's out there with one of his partners at just ETS. Hey, if y'all haven't checked out my Facebook and my YouTube page, make sure you check it out. You know, we had Chief Stacy, EOD partner, took a look overseas. I don't know if you got to see the video. Family's going through a lot right now. He's getting better, and I have, I've heard that he's doing pretty well. So, Chief, if you're watching this, I want you to know everybody's thinking about you. Hang in there, buddy. If there's anything I can do, all you got to do is holler. Now. Moving on. Also, oh, also at the bottom of Chief's link, there's a link where you can go help out his family a little bit. His wife, Lindsay, and the kids. You know this ain't an easy time. It's scary stuff when these kind of things happen. So donate to him. It's a holiday season. Let's crank it off with a bang. Whoop. All right, we got people chiming in now. Got me, uh, John, my man, Levin Bravo. Thomas, good evening to you. John, retired army myself. And we got people coming in from Fort Lindenwood. There's my man, Sergeant Patterson. Sergeant Patterson was there out of the gate with Little Top. Hope you're doing well, Sergeant Patterson. Uh, let's see, crew and some Blackhawks up in Oregon. Man, we got a good collection of people on here. All right, I tell you what, maybe I'll stick around a while. Visit with y'all a little bit. So, uh, anybody got any topics they want to talk about? I'm in the mood about to hop on a soapbox or argue about some shit. It's just that kind of day. Only got a couple more days. And uh, we'll be able to head on out. Oh, oh Sergeant Patterson says he's a pogue now. Don't listen to old Patterson. Patterson was in the Marine Corps. and went over to the National Guard. and was in the infantry unit. One of our better squad leaders. Moved on up there working to that battalion brigade level now. Living the high life. Setting up tents. Drinking coffee. That's probably what's happening. Patterson, you're a good man though, buddy. Y'all, what's it? Give me some uh, hot topics. Lord, the hottest topic going on right now is that Hollywood's getting crucified because apparently everybody's been molesting everybody out of the gate. What are y'all thoughts on that? I mean, it's crazy. Ain't a day goes by that somebody else ain't coming to play saying somebody pawed on me so I can get a position or something inappropriate. Some of my favorite comedians this has happened to. Louis C.K. Dude's hilarious. Love that dude. Should have known better, Louis. I still love you, but should have known better. Makes me wonder if the industry has set the stage for this. I'm not saying anything they did was right, but God almighty, how long has it been going on and nobody say shit? Anyways, Holly's saying happy Thanksgiving from Nashville. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Seventh ID. That's what I'm talking about. Huh? Man, John, you spent some time in some different units. We were farting down there in Panama on 89. Seventh ID were down there with us. Uh, what up, little top? From Brian Anderson. Little Tom's a pogue. Cody, stop pushing. You just try to start shit. I'm in a good mood this afternoon. I got something for Cody Crager. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, that's how I'm bad on. Looking out for Pat on them field drills. <laughs> bad on's a good man down there in Louisiana. We spent quite a bit of time in different parts of the world together. All right. Oh, there's Strainy, my man. What's happening, buddy? Calling in from Spain, my boys over to EOD boys over there in Spain. Towing the line. Appreciate what you do. Some of my biggest supporters over there ordered a bunch of stickers and stuff. I do appreciate you. 
Let's see. Take off your air. Take your Air Force gloves off, little top. Are you saying that I am being a little too soft? I gotta be soft. This is prime time. I say too much. You two are shut the Facebook. Shut this down. You don't want unfiltered, unfiltered little top. Lord have mercy. Uh, Johnny wants to know why it took decades for all them people to come for. I'm curious about that myself. Okay, here's a little parallel. Let's talk about this for a minute. How many of y'all were in the army when you still got your blood rank? Huh? Got your blood wings. Got that right. Every, every one of the ranks I got, and I'm not bullshitting you, from E1 to E8, every one of them got buried in my chest. All right? It was just kind of the culture of things that were going on. I, I'm not comparing getting blood wings and rank like to being sexually molested. All right, let me just be very clear before some of y'all run off of the handle. I'm just saying maybe Hollywood's culture just promoted that kind of thing and it was acceptable. Is that why all this has happened? I mean, I guess it's a good thing. If you can call them out, just call them all out. But I've just been surprised by the amount of people. See, we got some artillery men on here. Talk about my hands in my pockets. I'm sitting at a desk there, Ranger. You don't know what I'm doing. Besides, don't you worry about what my hands are. Tops always makes himself happy. Uh, let's see what's going up. Oh, Pat wants to know if my boy Sarge Mudge down there is going to get his E6. Mudge and I went Iraq together. That's a damn good soldier. About as unconventional as they come. Boy got more tattoos than, than they got paintings at the National Art Museum. But I love that dude. You need something to happen, you can count on Mudge to make it happen. At E6 is long past. I'd like to see him stay in Charlie Company down there, 256 Infantry. But if you can't, sometimes you got to move. That's just part of the game. <laughs> oh, Taylor, what about I polish his head? Let me tell you something, Taylor. This head ain't nothing more than just bad gene pool. Would you rather see me sitting around here with a Jean-Luc Picard donut wrapped around my melon? No, you wouldn't. So don't you worry about my little head. I know, it looks like a thumb. It's just how it is. It's how it is. That's what Wetzel always says. Little Tot's playing pocket pool. That's my personal business. Don't worry about what's happening behind this desk. Huh. All right, let's see what's going on. I got all St. Mary's old ladies on. I hope y'all, all my St. Mary families down there doing pretty well. What's that can on the desk? This can on the desk is Zion's energy drink. It's just delicious. Zero calories, zero sugar. All good. Not supposed to drink it because my blood pressure is high, but that shit's delicious. And I like starting out a day with one as often as possible. I'm not trying to do a, a commercial for a quick trip, but if you go over there, you can get two of them for about a third of the price. So run around a quick trip and get you a Zions tomorrow morning. <clears throat> get all kinds of good ideas on the way into work, huh? I don't know if they got that over in Spain, Strainy, but you at least check it out. What's up, boy? How you doing, boy? Now, it should be a ribbit. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I love a ribbit. I love the citrus ribbits and the little tiny 10-ounce cans. Freezing cold waiting on me when I woke up in the morning overseas. Problem with them is they got like 80 grams of damn sugar in them. I started to get fat as hell sitting on the toilet looking like a vanilla chocolate Hershey's Kiss or something. Them ribbits are delicious, but that's so much sugar to fatten you up real quick. But I do like a ribbit. I'm not going to lie. The ones here stateside are like 16 ounces. That's a whole lot of sugar. So, what do y'all think about the model? Okay, let me ask some of y'all that's still in service. Huh? Let me ask y'all about, do, do, do most of your guys right now, um, do most of them, do you get blood rank? Uh, do you still get blood rank when you get them airborne wings? Do you get them aerosol wings? Are you still burying in them? And I know you can't do it at the school. Lord, them black cats have a shit fit. You go bury them wings in some boy's chest. But I was at aerosol school putting some wings on one of my soldiers, and they wouldn't allow nobody to get blood wings there. I'm just curious what y'all's thoughts are on that. Let me know. <clears throat> oh, we got plenty of people talking in. My man, Sergeant First Class Danny Dean. Danny Dean... And I formed quite a strange relationship. He spent the first six months telling me what I needed to do, but in the end, I ended up counting on him a lot. What's up, Dean? I hope you're doing well. All right, we got people line, chiming in from South Dakota. Normally, y'all all in bed when I'm on here. Strangey says all that blood rank's gone. Yeah, that's the Navy, I assume. What about your Army boys? You still giving blood rank? Anybody in the Marine Corps out there? Hell, 
I first got in the army, got the Lurus. You made it in that unit. We ended up getting drunk on Mad Dog 2020, got a tattoo, and 50 of them boys buried that stuff in my chest after stapling the flash of my beret. True story. I don't have to make that shit up. That shit happened. Probably wouldn't fly today. Definitely wouldn't fly. I get punched in the chest now with the Velcro. Well, that's good. Let's stop the heart. Of course, back in the day, you used to get your rank up on your collar, and I'm sure there were quite a few broken clavicles that came along with that whole promotion. <clears throat> hey, y'all just chiming in. I appreciate you tuning in. We got like 25 people watching. Want to see again real quick that um one of our EOD partners over there took a lick, and um I put a video up talking to him, hoping he gets well. At the bottom of it is a link. And on that link, you just click it and consider donating this season to his family who's going through a rough time right now. Chief, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're getting better. We're thinking about you. And I just wanted to throw that out there one more time. Let's see this. Battle on drink a 16-ounce ribbit. Mo DR washed the clothes, cleaned the dishes. Good Lord, boy, it's like you did a big line of toot or something. You got to watch them ribbits. I want to blow your heart apart. But I'm sure your wife appreciated your effort. Who? All right, anybody got any more controversial things we can talk about? Jesse, you're the Marine Corps? I want to know if the Marine Corps is still getting blood rank and such. And I don't just mean like, oh, well, we're not allowed to do that. I know a lot of things ain't allowed to happen. I'm asking you if you're still doing it behind closed doors. I'll tell you right now, E1 to E8, every one of them happened like that. I personally think that it's initiation ceremony and ain't that bad. Hell, if two little metal, thing, metal things cutting into your chest makes you break down, you might be in the wrong damn business anyway. <clears throat> I don't think you need to go break nobody's collarbone. But putting a little blood on your chest initiates you into a group of men. Just my thoughts. Y'all can be mad about it if you want. It's up to you. Oh, well, let's see. Drill sergeants in AIT. I'll be honest with you. I didn't know drill sergeants weren't in AIT anymore. I went to basic training in 1988. Back then, all of a sudden they said, take off that damn helmet line I was wearing because we were in steel pots, put on a PC. Guess what? You're in AIT now. I mean, it was that casual. Not much else changed. But apparently they just have regular instructors. I think they need to put the drill sergeants back in AIT to put a little bit more discipline on them boys' ass. I'm not saying the new generation soft, but the new generation soft. I'm just saying it. There are exceptions. I've had some hard chargers. But as a general rule, <coughs> you, ever, you ever hump these new boys on a road march? Sweet Jesus, 40-year-old man's out humping a 25-year-old boy. Said, my back hurt. My knees are tight. Lord have mercy. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, the answer to me is, yeah, I think you need to put the drill sergeants back in AIT. What's up, Sergeant Doucette? Let the boys watch. <laughs> That's right. When you get them blood... That rank, let him watch. Like, what's it they said on that movie? Oh, man. What else is going on, folks? I want to stay on here for at least 10 more minutes before I hit the road and head back to the casa. Have y'all not had that designs? So delicious. Delicious. I've been trying to figure out a way that I could step on over and uh, show y'all we can look at some videos and stuff. I did find a way that I can go over to my Facebook page. Let me see if I can make this happen. All right, so let, let me pop on over here. Bazing! There we go. All right, if you ain't checked out my Facebook page, you can see right here that it says we live. <coughs> and do me a favor, go over here and got this little shop button. Buy yourself a sticker. I would appreciate it. Honestly, ain't a whole lot of money being made for the sticker, but what it does is put the world out about Little Top. And I appreciate that. I do have a little top recommends button here. And that's just kind of the kind of feel gear and stuff. If you need a direct link or something like that, you can just click on little top recommends. And you can see these are just some things. Now, I may be dating myself a little bit with this uh, <laughs> LBE right here. But as you can see, these are all things that I recommend to help you out in the field. Suspenders when your pockets are full of maps and all kinds of stuff and your pants are falling down. Jolly ranches to make the suck not suck as bad. And a little gold bond to put on your feet and your twig and berries. So if you get a chance, step on back by my website. Check that stuff out. Oh, all right, I'll pop back over to my office. <coughs> Let's see here. 
Okay, sorry. It's going down. It's going down. Oh yeah, we got some people here. We the Gauntlet and the Marine Corps. All right, all right. My MOS. Sanjay Johnson wants up my MOS. Well, as a first sergeant, I'm eleven Zulu, but um, I was eleven Bravo, and then I went to eleven Charlie for about six or seven years, and then I went back to eleven Bravo to my twenty third year. Oh, then I became a cartoon. Crazy. Thunder and Jizz, my man. I've been trying to, I want to create a good Thunder and Jizz t-shirt. I'll be working on that, Rick. Low stress, low impact, basic as a contributor to the suicides of veterans. Man. Suicides of veterans is a hard thing to figure out. I'm not going to lie. I got my own theories about Joe's when you're coming back from deployments, how things kind of spin out of control for you. Um... I don't know what to say about that. I know that the big thing is that chain of command needs to know his men and understand if some of that's coming. And then even under the best of circumstances, sometimes there just ain't no telling. It's an unfortunate thing. And uh, I don't think it's something to joke about either way. I will tell you that I've seen a lot of young Joes think it's funny to say, oh, I'm thinking about suicide and that shit pisses me off. Because it's a real world thing. And if you're taking advantage like that, that's the worst. So don't do that. Don't do that. All right, let's see. Uh, hey, Top, how about me push? Why why you make me push, JD? What I done? Plus, I need to see what rank it is for now. I'll push. I'll push. I just need to see some probably a wreath and a, and a star in the middle of your three up, three down. <coughs> okay, here we go. I got a question. Hey, little Top, what do you think of privates having more authority than drill sergeants and structures? Well, I don't understand what you mean by that, having more authority. Uh, if you yell at them, they'll turn you in for hazing. Well, I would hope that a chain of command recognizes what's going on. You should be able to lay into somebody's ass without being having to worry about that. It's, a, it's an unfortunate, politically correct world right now. I'll say that. It's unfortunate. And I wish it wasn't like this. Usually this stuff's probably cyclic. cyclic you know what I mean? I mean, everybody's getting a little soft. Everything's really going good. You know, only a small fraction of people are overseas doing anything. And then, something bad happens. And then you get ripped out back into a situation where soft and acceptable. And it hardens everybody up again. It's happened over and over again in history. I ain't saying it's going to happen soon, but it's possible. Just my thoughts. <clears throat> All right, what's up, Top First Sergeant Lopez? I got to get you on one of these cartoons with me if you're listening. Hope you're doing well. Enjoying that retirement. Lopez walked around mad pretty much the entire couple years I knew him. I've never seen anybody be that mad all the time. Just saying. All right, cadets over enlisted. I don't know what you're asking, Steve. Like, who makes a better cup of coffee? I don't know. I'd probably go with a cadet. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. So I went to Sand Hill. I went to Sand Hill myself. When I went to basic training, we were split half and half. Half Harmony Church, half Sand Hill. My bus went to Sand Hill, but a lot of my friends were at Harmony Church, which, from what I understand, was a lot harder. Sand Hill's got some nice big barracks and nothing else. All right. Lord, I got a lot of comments I'm trying to catch up with. Hey, if I miss your comment, I apologize. I usually try and go back in and try and catch them. Uh, Bone wants to know what Malbro's been doing. Oh, nothing. Nothing worthwhile other than soaking up a dollar. Still in a, been in the military longer than the military. Louisiana. Louisiana forces were probably still wearing gray when Malbro first got in there. That boy's been in service long time. Long, long time. All right, let me see. What other questions we got? Uh, a mushroom welt to the forehead. I don't know about that initiation. So I do agree that drill sergeants need to go back to AIT. In my opinion. Unless you can talk me out of it, I think it'd be a good thing. Oh, man. Now, see, first Sergeant Lopez want to bring up the Saints. All right. <coughs> Let me come clean. I've been a Redskin fan since I was a pup. Always been a Redskin fan. No wavering here or there. Oh, that's my new team. But always a Redskin fan. And let me tell you, when you're a Redskin fan, you learn to deal with loss. And this weekend, they blew a 15-point lead. Lord have mercy. Had to double up on my heart pills. It ain't easy. Congratulations, Air Force Sergeant. Enjoy it. I think the Army will go back to the way it used to be eventually. It's going to be forced to because, boys, like it or not, 
I don't think I'll be around, but there's probably going to be something that happens that forces you back into that situation. Uh, Tony wants to know what my opinion is on North Korea. <coughs> North Korea? I, I, I can't imagine anybody on here is a big fan of North Korea. I think the dude is a psycho. I think he overinflates his capabilities. And I think he's like a small dog barking behind a screen door. And that door's going to open and he's going to end up getting the shit whipped out of him. And millions of people going to die. That's what I think. And it's unfortunate. And it's, it's like he's got everybody in a bind. Um, not a big fan of North Korea. All right. Oh, Gareth Healy, who dat? All right, here we go. Let all the, let all the Saints fans, friends start chiming in. Enjoy it. <laughs> Enjoy it, boys. Tell me what y'all's plans are for Thanksgiving. Y'all headed to staying at the house and cooking you up a big turkey? Or y'all heading out to your, um, to your family members? We're going to be sticking around for the first couple of days, then locking it up later over the weekend with our family. Should be a good time. Hey, for all you boys over there, overseas, whether you're over in Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan right, right now, I want to let you know that we're all thinking about you. Everybody here stateside, I appreciate what you're doing over there. I've been overseas during the holidays, and it's not a fun thing. But no, everybody's here. It's counting on you. Appreciate you, and hopefully you get back home soon to your friends and loved ones. And to your family, thank you for what you're doing. It ain't easy hanging out over there, watching, knowing your, your loved ones are overseas while during the Christmas and, and Thanksgiving season. So thank all y'all for what you're doing. All right. Hunting and eating. Oh, man. Oh, I have to do some hunting. I haven't been deer hunting in years. Let's see. What's being in the box at Fort Cope or Mobin at Shelby? Well, if you're in the box at Polk, at least you know it's going to end in a decent amount of time. If you're Mobin and Shelby, you're going to spend a couple months in that god-awful, cinder-block, building-ridden place. The place is horrible. I hate Shelby. Moved out of there? Uh, I don't think where all the schools I went to over there. Ain't nothing good at Shelby. Nothing at all. Let's see. You want to, okay, all right, Michael Tappy wants to know where the field artillery stalker is. Well, man, you got to write me. You got to write me and say, yo, I want a field artillery sticker. And guess what? <laughs> that shit will appear. I'll make any sticker for anybody that wants them. You just need to write me at firstsergeantlittletop at gmail.com. 1SG little top at gmail.com. All right, and I'll make a sticker for you. I make people all the time. I always want stickers. And I make them custom for any unit that you like. Funny thing is, have, I'll be honest, I'll be honest, other than Navy, EOD, most of the people said, hey, Tom, why don't you do an MP sticker? All right, do an MP sticker. Boys, I can pull the analytics. I do the MP sticker. Twelve people looked at it. Nobody even ordered one. If you ain't going to order the damn sticker, don't have me make it. Huh? I'm not, and, and, and trust me, like my seven cent I get off them stickers, I ain't, I ain't retiring from them. I just don't want to put forth the effort. You're not even, a, you're just looking to see if I'll make it for you? Shit. All right, enough on the stickers. <coughs> My man, Cole Collins. Let me tell you about him. Collins, they called him Crazy White. I won't even get into why Crazy White. Maybe at one point the laziest soldier, but now he's posting all these pics on him about him lifting weights. I don't know. Maybe he finally got that energy. Maybe he finally hit puberty, Collins. Hope it works out for you. All right, Bone, I'll make a one-for-one -one sticker if some people order some one-for-one -one stickers. I got Rhonda LaHood on here, my number one personal butter, Randall LaHood, and Gary LaHood, Rhonda's Randall's wife, puts up with a whole lot of stuff my partner. Rhonda, hope you're doing well. Just Cause in 89, oh, over Christmas, John, and then in the desert in 90. Man, that's a rough two years back to back. I, we were in Panama, I want to say, I was from June, and then we left like October. And then shit at the fan in December, and then I was in Fifth ID during the first desert, and um, we didn't go anywhere. We painted all the vehicles, Tam, but we didn't go nowhere. I'll tell you a little topic. I'll tell you a little story about when I was a little Cherry Joe. <coughs> so, first desert storm kicks off. Huh? We in these long, long lines painting a whole division, Tam. We're going to war, boys. This is it. Right? So a little private first class top was out there waiting in line, slowly making his way. Finally, about 3 o'clock in the morning, my turn came. So I rolled my deuce and a half up in that giant paint tent, hopped out, went outside for 20 minutes, painted that vehicle tan, went on about my business, back to the barracks, secured that vehicle, and went to bed. <coughs> Got woken up early the next morning from one pissed off teen leader, calling me a genius. Said if I had a death wish, I didn't know what the man's talking about. 
till he took me back up there to look at the deuce and a half. Let me tell you something. Have you ever really looked at a deuce and a half spare tire? Well, they put out, make sure you take all the spare tires out of the vehicle. Well, my little private ass didn't. And when you move the spare tire, there's a perfect bullseye painted on the top of that deuce and a half. A little cherry. Yeah, I did that. That's embarrassing. Shit happened, though. So I'm grind. Sergeant Aaron's let me have it. All right. Let's see what else we got. We'll get the first Sergeant Lopez. We'll get that interview with you. We can do it soon. I got to get your cartoon made up. Have I ever gotten a fight with the MPs? Well, we've been escorted out a couple times. I don't know if it's always a good idea to fight. Oh, oh, shit. Chad Blanchard chimed in. What's up, Blanchard? I'll see you in a couple weeks. <coughs> oh, let's see. John that's on his way back from Kuwait. All right, get back home safe, buddy. Try and get back for all these, uh, for the holidays coming up, huh? You, all right, Dave, you say you're going to post them on this? Them gum bunnies are bomb. I hear you. I hear what you're saying. But I'll put you down on my list and I'll get you a sticker. We'll see if your gum bunnies really want a sticker, huh? All right. Let's see what up here. Rick's saying, shut up, Gareth. And I can't, I don't even know where Gareth is. What'd he say? Oh, Zane Desitel joined in. Desitel, you still on here? Or'd you quit the video? Got into air assault school, walked away for a concrete job. Yeah, I said it. Stupid ass. You good soldier, but that was a dumb move, huh? Uh, oh, okay. Okay, if y'all watched the video about when South Charlotte Hood pinned me in that port john wanting to know if it's okay if he brings a vampire to family day. Now, the vampire was bitten when she was a little girl, so the vampire only looks nine years old. And he wanted to know if it's okay to bring her to family day, because really she's like 70 years old, but she looks like a nine-year-old. Now, Sergeant Major said it wasn't okay, so, you know, you usually got to go with Sergeant Major says, but check out that video, it's funny, and is a true story. That shit really happened. I don't know about the vampire, but the conversation happened overseas. All right, folks. <coughs> Let's see, about 5.30. All right, I'm about to wrap it up. Hey, again, thank you all for your service. Enjoy your holidays. If you need anything from me, just holler. I'll be around doing my cartoon thing. Well, and if you want stickers, send me an email. That's how I track it, all right? And I'll put them down there, and I'll make some stickers over to break for you boys. Y'all got any questions? Gentlemen, carry the fuck on. <laughs>